You want me to trace this guy? Yeah, that's the guy. I want you to trace his every move, where he lives, where he doesn't live, work out where he works, where he shops, where he mops, where he drops, pops and locks. Oh gee, that sounds like a lot of tracing. Well, that's why they call it contact tracing. Huh? Contact tracing. Oh, <laughs> you want me to contact Tracy? No, contact tracing. These are contact tracers. And right now there are teams of them working really hard here in Australia and, well, all around the world. And while they might not look like detectives, their job is kind of similar. I'm just calling you with, with some important health information. Have you got a they have to try to slow the spread of COVID-19 by finding as many people as possible who could have come in contact with the disease. So when you have a, a what we call an infectious disease, so a disease that we spread from one person to the other, like the common cold, um, part of controlling it is kind of knowing who might be at risk of it and stopping them from spreading it to someone else. This is Professor Nancy Baxter from the University of Melbourne. She knows a lot about contact tracing. So what contact tracing does is it says, OK, so in that two days before you got sick and until you got the test and then you knew you had it, who were you, who, who was near you, near enough to you for long enough for you to possibly give it to? Now, that's not as easy as you might think, especially if there are a lot of cases of COVID. When you have 700 cases and maybe they've each been exposed to five people, I mean, you guys do the maths. I just did, and it's 3,500, which is, yeah, a lot of people. And if those people were infected and they were in contact with five people each, you can see how quickly the numbers get really, really big. When it gets to that number, it becomes impossible. And that's why, you know, when you started getting those numbers in the 700s, that's why they had to shut things down more. Nancy says that's part of the reason why lockdowns, like the one in Melbourne or in Auckland and New Zealand, can help. It means you aren't out and about as much as you usually would be, which reduces the amount of people you are likely to come in contact with. It's also why the government has been encouraging people to download the COVID Safe app, which uses Bluetooth to let you know if you've come in contact with someone who has the virus, as long as they have the app too. Many experts are hoping that if we can get the number of COVID-19 infections down, contact tracing will help us to keep it under control in the long run. Unless we want to kind of stay in lockdown for a long time to try and eliminate it, uh, what we're going to have to do is kind of deal with little outbreaks when they happen and kind of close them down by contact tracing. Alrighty, so this guy went to the shops, then they went to the cinema, then they went to work, and right after that they went to this cafe. Great work! Well, I guess I better contact Tracy. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 I'm pretty sure that's Tracy right there, so I should contact her? Yeah, no, that's... no, that's right. Alright, well, yeah, okay, contact Tracy. Alright. 